All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit. Um, trying to make some motivational shorts, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know, like them, subscribe, whatever, man. We're just trying to grow and uh, add more stuff, you know. Jack of all trades, baby. Um, yeah, I mean, Bitcoin did go up, right? Um, it almost, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, when I, like, my first bull run, the, the best money I made was doing, like, the 50, 25, 25 rule, which is, like, 50% of your money in Bitcoin, 25% in, like, Ethereum and big caps, and 25% in, like, low caps. Honestly, I did the best that way. And you know what I mean? Like, Bitcoin's dominance are uh, decreased a little bit. That's good. Um, because Bitcoin, I feel like, whatever, dude, I, I keep saying we're going to slowly climb up. But, um, man, it almost makes me just want to start buying some Bitcoin because I know that will go up. And then just, like, make some money and then piggyback. Because I don't think these altcoins are necessarily going to move for a long time. I think they're going to stay kind of where they're at. Um you know, alt season is like it happens at the very end of like the bullish time. So it's like crazy not to have money in Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin will make you money. I, you know, it's like I get it. I'm trying to talk to young youngsters and they want like the 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 meme coins, the fifty x. That that's gonna come in time. But man, I'm just I'm just telling you, man. The the I've done it all different ways. Mic micro caps, mid caps, that. The best way I think is like, was the 50, 25, 25 rule. And uh, yeah, I'm, you know, buying Bitcoin, man, you can never go wrong buying Bitcoin. It could just make your money more money and then you can just put it into other altcoins or whatever. You're not missing the boat on anything. So just, you know, I want you to like think about that in your head because, you know, bit, once Bitcoin, it could go up to like 35K and these alts could basically go up like 2%. I mean, it, it, you know, I've seen it. So I'm just letting you guys know that. But um, I guess the shorts, I mean, look, look at this bear market. It's been pretty nasty. Are we over it? I mean, I guess technically I think yes, right? I mean, like I said, I don't think anything crazy is going to happen. I just think a slow climb back up, you know, even though I did hear Joe Biden say in this thing like a week ago, basically, I do not want to help crypto traders, which do does <laughs> make me nervous because he literally said that in a sentence like I don't want to take food from houses, which I agree. And I don't want to help these crypto traders, basically. So just, you know, be careful. You know, you just never know, man. With this guy in office, I do not think he wants crypto and all this he, he, i think he despises crypto but bitcoin's long-term holders also turned profit a month ago signaling a major bullish period ahead like i said i mean how we've already been through hell guys right i feel like we've been through hell no this was hell then we fucking went down even further i was like oh this is rock bottom man and then they're like nah man punching the face again this is rock bottom you just, there's always another fucking bottom. I'm swearing. There's always another bottom, right? Uh, I feel like we've uh, crossed that bridge. Hopefully, hopefully we did, right? I don't know. I'm um, just giving you some crypto news. Uh, and, and Russia, what is Russia doing, man? Russia scraps plans for a national cryptocurrency exchange. Russia will continue to create new crypto platforms in response to sanctions. So Russia... Uh, the Russian government is no longer planning to launch a regulated national cryptocurrency exchange, but rather wants to regulate multiple cre uh, crypto trading platforms. I think that's kind of a positive, don't you? Um, let me look. Uh, in response to such reg, uh, restrictions, Russia will continue to create new crypto platforms and organizations. And the main thing would be to regulate the process. Uh, the Russian central bank is likely to be the main regulatory authority supervising cryptocurrency exchanges. That makes me a little scary. Um, well... I mean, it's always positive when other fucking countries, you know, are adopting crypto, you know, Russia. Hey, I'm not going to talk about Russia, what you did, the Ukraine, that's between you guys. I don't get into these fights, but hey, I always like mass adoption. Um, 
yeah, man, just a quick video on what I, what I think's going on and maybe some advice, man, maybe buy some Bitcoin. You could just never go wrong buying Bitcoin. I know there's people like, dude, you're not going to make that much money. If it goes up to 35000 I can't even do the math, but was that like a 20% more of that spike? Or more than that. I, I, that's a good that's a good chunk of change depending on how much you put in. And then you can always, you know, sw- go back to your altcoins. I'm just saying, I don't think alt season's happening. I have my altcoins. Maybe I'll add some more, but I think adding Bitcoin actually at this point would probably be more profitable in a way, because like I said, I just don't think the alts are going to do anything. I think they're just going to stay around this price, maybe go up a little, like maybe, but other than that, like, like I said, I've done this before. So I just, I kind of know, man, you know, and I had ETH back then too. Like it's just, oh, strategies, my friend, strategies. So, all right, guys, hang in there. Like I said, I, I think the worst is behind us. Slow climb up, but uh, yeah, I mean, just you know, I don't know. Like, like I said, buying Bitcoin is not a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing. They say it's for the rich, but it's also for the poor too. So, all right, subscribe, like, hey. Watch my motivational quick videos, man. It's just words, man. So all I have to do is just hit the like button, baby. All right. Uh, see you on the next video, boys.